Hey guys, now that you have the carburetor taken off of your engine, uh, we're going to replace some of the seals. Um, this is our seal kit right here. As you see all the little seals, some little small parts. Uh, some of these kits bring a few extra pieces uh, just because some of the carburetors on some of the models are a little bit different. But um, So don't be shocked when you see a couple that you don't know where they go. They probably just don't go on your carburetor. Uh, one of them goes here on the side plate back here one goes on the back side um, and another one goes in right here on this inside part when you take it apart we're going to show you how to take it apart right now uh, stay tuned and hope you enjoy it all right you're going to want to remove these five screws right here and that is simply removing them I like to remove them at an offset angle just because since this is plastic it's not reinforced um, I don't want them to crack take these off this bottom part should come right off And then put these off to the side so that you know when you're reassembling them. You might want to take pictures of everything just so you don't forget. It's a very helpful tool. I recommend it if you've never done it before. Just so you could go back. This here is what adjusts the float. This is going to be a very important step. And I'll show you that one. Basically. You have your float here. I'll take it off little by little. Just so you can see it. You have your float attached by a pin. Then you have this piece which is very important. And that part gets clogged in there. So you're going to want to make sure that you clean this out. Make sure you use big um, screwdrivers, flat screwdrivers, because the little ones uh, tend to mess up the metal in these screws. Uh, bigger, better, safer. Get some screws like that. This comes in the kit as well as with this little tiny, tiny pin. Alrighty. Then the next thing is going to be to remove the side plate. these off to this corner it just reminds me where those go this is just a plate and this is just a seal you see that comes in the kit you're going to want to clean all this out you want to clean these little tubes out make sure you clean those out really good each one of these little holes right there and then these as well here, here's another one, gasket. All these gaskets, I mean, although you might have a clean one, you're not sure what's going on, might have a little air leak, the gasket might be going bad, and a little air leak in any of this system will compromise it, give you a rough idle, all that, etc. Alright, so now that we have this pretty much taken apart, we're going to take these off I like to use the bigger one just so it doesn't slip all these 
these parts. Come off. We like to use a clean our cars by CRC. Uh, it's safe on the plastics. So never had any problems with it. Basically you're just gonna clean them out. Let that sit in there for a little bit. And then make sure you uh, emphasize spraying inside of these little these little holes. Also on these little copper tubes. Very important. Once you've hit it already with some of the spray, um, we like to hit these little pieces here with the air. Alrighty guys, so once you already cleaned it out, pressurized it, cleaned all the orifices, all the little holes and stuff. The next step is to put all the pieces back. Oh, we know where this one goes. This one's pretty simple. One's right in here. Now squeeze down on this little point and then it has a little hole right there. Squeeze down on that point. That'll keep the gasket in place. Um, the quickest and easiest gasket is going to be this one right here. This one's pretty easy. Just take. Don't tighten it too tight. Tighten one semi tight, then the other semi tight. When you have them both semi tight, then tighten down on them. You don't want to tighten one tight, tight first, and then try to tighten the other one, you might break the plastic. So once we got that one back on, then here comes the interesting part. This little piece right here is really important. I want to put this piece on. Take a little spring that comes in the kit. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but you're gonna want to put it with the spring facing up. I'm not sure if you can see it there. That's how that should go, and that goes right in there as so. When you put in this float, this piece right here has to go underneath that flap and fall just like that. 
The reason being is that I'll show you now. Put in this little screw. So I put in this screw. The reason being is that this is what allows the flow to come up and come down. That is what lets gas flow into the bowl and what stops the gas from flowing in. To measure out how you want the bowl is this screw right here. For instance, if you look at it, you can see that the bowl is what you want to do is adjust that screw so that the bowl is even with with the plastic bowl. So we want to screw it. I'm gonna show you now how it goes up. We want to screw it, and that right there looks to be right about perfect. So as you can see still goes up and down but it does not go farther than the plastic and that's pretty much how you can eyeball it they come with a bunch of these little things so you can measure it but you can pretty much just eyeball it once you have that that's the hardest part the next thing is put the gasket on the back side Sometimes they're a pain to get them to sit. Oh, we got it to sit there. Perfect. Now we're going to want to add the float. And that goes on just like that. Now you're ready to put back the screws. Don't tighten it too hard. Gonna put back these little pieces. And ladies and gentlemen, your carburetor is ready to put back on. You have officially serviced your carburetor and you're ready to roll.